The FDNY's newest class of probationary firefighters graduates next week. Not officially on the job yet, most of them are already saving lives. Hundreds donated their blood at the fire academy on Randalls Island on Friday. This really fits in with the fire department ethos of paying it forward and serving your community. The New York Blood Center says at FDNY headquarters, they've collected more than 11,000 units of blood since 1999. At the fire academy, more than 7,000 units have been collected since 2004. As a result, almost 55,000 lives in our community have been saved with just blood donations. Probies also signed up for bone marrow donations. With one swab, it can determine if they're a match for someone in need. The class also heard from Christina Moon, wife of late firefighter Billy Moon, a proud organ donor who passed away in December after a 20-foot fall preparing for a training exercise at Rescue 2 in Brooklyn. Billy donated his heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver, and two of those organs went to two FDNY 9-11 first responders. Following his death, Christina is now an advocate for organ donation. This has given me a reason, and you kind of redefine your purpose, and it's a drive to keep going, and I really how important it is. It's almost like my own little piece of therapy, I think. There are more than 100,000 people nationwide in need of a transplant, with more than 8,000 here in New York State. One of the things I've always learned is an organ doesn't travel. So the more we have in our communities who are registered donors, the more opportunity we have to help those in our communities. And New York State has one of the lowest percentages of eligible residents enrolled as donors in the registry, which is why Christina Moon says it's another reason to sign up and become an organ donor. Reporting at the FDNY Fire Academy on Randalls Island, Michelle Ross, Pix11 News.